bra tops. Bras as tops. You could also hike this down a little bit more if you wanted more like low rise vibes. I don't know, all white, it's kind of brave. Nicole here. Today I am covering spring fashion trends for 2022. There are a ton of videos just covering spring fashion trends in general, but this video is specifically going to focus on those trends that I personally will be wearing and I think are really easy to sort of incorporate into your everyday style. If you're new to my channel, my name's Nicole. I do a lot of fashion content here on this channel. So if you guys like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. All right, you guys, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, first trend I love, which is these teeny tiny little bandeau skirts, very Y2K vibes. This skirt right here, I especially love for this trend because of the ruching on the side. So you can actually adjust just how mini this mini skirt is. So I hiked it way, 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 way up to create this little like baby skirt situation here. But if you aren't comfortable with wearing a skirt exactly this short, you can very easily like unruche it and make it a little bit longer, maybe for like a daytime look. And then for a nighttime look, you could wear it like this. You could also hike this down a little bit more if you wanted more like low rise vibes or hike it up if you want it a little high rise like me. This next one I am so happy is coming in for spring. It is bridal fashion. I got married last year and so of course you're doing all of your, you know, wedding things, bridal parties, bachelorettes, whatever. And so it wasn't until I was looking for all of these bridal outfits for those occasions that I realized just how much I love white, like white white on my particular body and like skin tone. I'm gonna do like a whole separate video on just like bridal fashion for 2022 because girls, I have some finds for you. Like this Windsor two-piece set that I picked up again last year. I think this is what I wore for my bachelorette party. So cute, so sexy, and just like every day as well. This isn't, I'm not going to get married in this, but I could totally just hit some kind of like brunch or something in an outfit like this and kind of stand out because I don't know, all white, it's kind of brave. It's a little brave, it's for the bold. Here is another Windsor dress, so obviously a lot more formal. I wore this for my rehearsal dinner and yeah, it's just this really elegant white dress. I didn't get it hemmed, so it did drag a little bit on the floor, but honestly, this was this didn't bother me and it felt it felt kind of bridal in a way, akin to like a bridal train, if you will. And yeah, I just loved this dress for my rehearsal dinner. I thought that it was the perfect kind of shape and silhouette. And I also loved how I could be comfortable in it as well. I've got on like a regular bra right now. That's one thing that's really good about Windsor's. I don't know, their dresses are really cute, but they don't get complicated in the bra area a lot of the times. Okay guys, next up, can you guess it? Bright freaking colors. We're not talking like pastels. We're not talking like your muted tones. For spring, we are breaking out and we are wearing bright, bright colors. So I love this puffer jacket that I picked up from Princess Polly late last year. I think it's the perfect example for this trend. And I love rocking this. I always get commentary on this puffer jacket whenever I wear it. The way that you make this work is you throw it on top of something super neutral, like keep the base really, really neutral and then just add this kind of pop that makes you basically look a lot more trendy just because it's unique. So I'm not gonna be able to link this dress down below because I actually picked this up at, I don't know, like a swap meet or something like that. But this is a beach cover up. Yeah, as a dress. So next spring trend is beach wear as like regular wear. I think, I think we all are just ready to go on a vacation. We all really, really need and deserve a vacation. Basically the inspiration for this style is just taking your beach wear or vacation wear and incorporating it into like your day to day. So I went ahead and paired this beach cover up with like a pair of heels and now it's totally dressed up. It's something that you could wear outside of the beach and you wouldn't necessarily assume that it would be for the beach but it's got those like beachy vibes you know what i mean i'll try and find some similar ones online and link them down below for you guys okay so last trend 
I recognize how easy this is to pull off as like a small chested woman compared to someone who might be a little bit more fuller, fully chested, but um, bra tops, bras as tops. Admittedly, nobody's offended by this, most likely, right? You're not offended by this, are you? There's no spillage, there's, you know, no, not much to see here, folks. But for that reason, I like it, and you will be seeing me in tops like this all throughout the spring. I mean, you guys have been seeing me in tops like these. Super simple to just pair with basically anything, like a pair of jeans and some sneakers, and you're just good to go, especially in, you know, the upcoming, hopefully it's upcoming very, very soon, LA heat. I'm comfortable, it's breathable, and I don't have to wear an actual bra. That's like a win-win. It's not just like bras as tops. It's also this sort of underwire bra-like structure on top. So I recently picked up this top from Shein. I'll go ahead and link that haul for anybody that wants to check that out. But yeah, I'm loving this. I just love the sort of look of that structure. It's cute. It's a vibe. For this outfit specifically, I kind of went like the camo route. The cargo pant thing is also a trend for 2022, but I've had these for freaking ever and I wear them all the time. I don't know, this like military-esque vibe outfit is just like a whole ass mood. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some inspiration from it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new videos almost every single week. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next one.